What if I told you your attractiveness as a leader is scientifically backed? Like it is medically possible for you as a growing leader to be able to attract anybody by understanding physiology. I'm Eric with Leadership Develop. Today we're going to talk about the four happiness chemicals that you can use to get people to be attracted to you as a leader. And it's a very powerful way of doing it. Let's begin. There is compelling evidence that these neurochemicals play a vital role in winning people over. The first is serotonin, the leadership chemical. The second is dopamine, the goal achieving chemical. The third is oxytocin. This is the love and trust chemical. The last but not least is endorphins, the pain masking chemical. All these chemicals do different things, but together they make people feel good about being around you. They can't wait to be near you. They can't wait to go on that adventure with you, to take on the challenges that you want them to take on with you. Serotonin is very unique because it's the anti-depression chemical. It's the one that makes you not feel bad about yourself, your day. And we usually get this through vitamin D, being out in the sun and things like that. But you can also do this by how you use intrinsic and extrinsic rewarding systems. Ooh. First, be able to recognize their worth. As we talk about, you're giving them identity and giving them purpose. You recognize them. You provide them support, protection, accountability to win over their loyalty to the cause of that vision that you've laid out in front of them. And most importantly, is you create it, you promote it, and you're protecting a culture of trust, an environment for everyone to excel. And that is what's magical about it. The next chemical is dopamine. Dopamine is the goal achieving chemical. We get people roused up with this by setting clear goals. Not massive big goals, but good milestones to hit at one piece at a time. By having some smaller set of goals at smaller intervals allows people to see growth. It allows them to know that this is a continuous process and that by doing so, we're gonna celebrate those small wins. When they hit those minor milestones, we're gonna celebrate them. Or we're just gonna have that recognition that they did something great. Because we're trying to kick in that chemical that makes them feel they have achieved something. And also, we're gonna encourage a sense of accomplishment. We're gonna motivate them to hit these goals because we know they can. We didn't bring them on because we didn't think they can. We know they can. And when they do, we celebrate it. The next chemical is the oxytocin chemical. This is the love and trust chemical. Granted, we are in a professional environment, so I am not encouraging anything past handshakes, congratulations, pats on the back. Hugs are in that gray area, and I do not promote it right now, but I love hugs as much as the next person does as well. Be aware of your culture. Be aware of what your higher ups think is important. Also, what do your people think is appropriate? Not everyone's really receptive to being touched, but fist bumps, high fives, handshakes, congratulations, those go a long way. You don't have to have physical touch to increase oxytocin. You can be, just by being authentic, by showing your vulnerable side, that actually kicks in the oxytocin for them to relate to you with, that they understand what you're going through as a leader that they can relate with as a person on this journey with you. Promote the collaboration, the social networking, the things that help people find connection with each other. And like I said, it doesn't have to be physical connection. It's just having a relation connection that makes them feel like they're more connected to each other. You'll be surprised. That does kick in the oxytocin. Also, encourage acts of kindness. They go a long way. Holding the door, giving that proper greeting of the day. Those go a long way. The Marine Corps, we got frustrated that we always had to tell the you know, senior officers you know, the proper greeting of the day. But at the end of the day, when they give you a authentic response, when they really want to talk with you, it went a long way for the Marines, especially myself, for wanting to do more, wanting to be part of this organization because somebody gave me an authentic conversation that gave me meaning. Last but not least, we talked about endorphins, the 
pain masking chemicals. We can do this by organizing team building activities, by the fact that we put people together to overcome a challenge, creates a connection. It's kind of like first phase boot camp for Marines. They were put into these impossible challenges that cannot be solved, but yet because through that misery, we've gained a We've gained a camaraderie because we suffered through it together and came out on the other end. Encourage, encourage physical exercise and wellness programs. We talked about here in the wellness wheel how balancing these eight things out will have you a more fulfilling life. To be able to be ready to conquer the world anytime a challenge appears. Foster a positive and uplifting work environment. But be honest with the facts be able to say, hey, we are in a bad place. But you can do that in a positive way because I know that you know that we can do this. <laughs> I know you know. When mentoring your people, use personal experiences. Give them something to relate to of how you overcame a challenge when you were in that position. Tell them that times then you failed and had to pick yourself back up with your own bootstraps. That will go a long way with them to show that you are human that what they're experiencing, you've experienced before, and that they can make it. In fact, they can succeed as they go through this. By nourishing the people's four happiness chemicals, you're able to create an attractiveness to you as a leader where they will go through walls, where they will follow you through the valley of death and come back at the other end stronger, more capable, and willing to do it again. I'm Eric from Leadership Developed. If you like this video, hey, do us a favor. Give us a thumbs up while you're at it. Hey, hit subscribe. Help me spread this message to other growing leaders so they have a chance to be successful as well. If you missed last week's video, hey, check it out. It's right over here. We'll talk to you again next week.